Hi, welcome along. It's Sunday, Smart Home Sunday. I'm tinkering again with Home Assistant. You've seen me unbox it. You've seen me turn it on. What did I do? Oh yeah, the backups, uh, file shares. Well, today, database. Yes, I'm going to switch to the MariaDB with Home Assistant. The reason, two reasons. One, I want to store a lot of data. It can handle a lot more data than the default. And the second reason, flexibility. You know, I'll be able to dig into the data at some point in the future. I don't know, create a report. Well, that'll be fun. Let's set it up. So the first thing I'm going to do is head into Supervisor and I'm going to find it in the add-on store. There it is. Let's install. So I install MariaDB on Home Assistant Blue. Set up the config file. Then I need to go make some configuration changes to Home Assistant to tell it to use that database. So here we go. There we are, it's installed. Turn on the watchdog, turn on auto update. Let's go check the configuration file. It's gonna create a database called Home Assistant. I'm gonna create a username of HA and an amazing password. Don't use that password, it's mine. I'll change it later. And give that username some rights to the database. Save, go back here. Now let's start it up. Great, go to the log, hit refresh. Starting the server. Let's keep going. Lots of green, good. Green is good, it's okay. So we've got the database, it's running. It's created a database. Now I need to tell Home Assistant to use that database. So to do that, I go to the back end, go to the config file, open it up in Notepad++. I need to add two lots of configuration. The first one is to tell Recorder, the Home Assistant Recorder, to use that new database. So here's what I've got. Tell Recorder, to keep 30 days of data and the database, well, go and store it here. Username, HA, password, 1234, at core-mariadb, that means the box that Home Assistant also runs on, and the database Home Assistant. Now, I also need to say, recorder, record some history. That's it. I can make a bunch of adjustments to this later on, exclusions, inclusions, but this is enough. This is enough. Now, close that. Back to Home Assistant, into Configuration, down to Server Controls, check the file. Yeah, seems okay. Now we'll hit Restart. And let's see. Now Home Assistant Blue will restart. It'll read that configuration file and then it'll start wanting to store any history, history, history events into the MariaDB. Let's see if I get any errors. Let's see if it runs. Yeah, look at that. It's up, it's running. Very good. Let's go check, oh, notification. Yeah, new device, that'll come later. Supervisor, MariaDB, anything new here? You still look good. You're happy? Good. How about in the logs for Home Assistant? Eh, just some warnings about Hue and the Hue Bridge. And that's it. Okay, it worked, apparently. I don't know where the database is. I don't know what's stored in it right now. That'll have to wait till next time, but it's working. MariaDB installed on Home Assistant. Tick. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Where are you, Maria?